The future is finally here. It's year two and the freshman recruits are finally settling in at Salona Beach University for the fall semester, moving into their dorms, building out their class schedule, and most importantly, strapping on the pads for preseason practice. The team is in good hands with some of the freshmen filling out our starting roster. Brandon Moore was brought in from Jersey Shore and he'll get a first crack at the quarterback job. If that doesn't work out well, Adam Allen is also waiting in the wings, another freshman. Quarterback isn't much without an effective running back and Donnie Turner is looking to revolutionize the sponge running attack. And then pretty much the entire defensive line is retooled. The inaugural season for the sponges was fun? How do I say this? Yeah, it was disappointing. And that's an understatement. The worst team in college football showed us why they are the worst team in college football. Poor performance on both sides of the ball. And worse yet, sponge fans have had to wait one whole calendar year to see their boys in lavender and lime get a win. That changes now. Philip Rivers, our head coach, was brought to this team to build them up. Found under Tony Hawk knew year one was going to be a demolition type year, but this is where the rubber meets the road. All bets are off. We have to start winning. Our fans deserve it. I'm just going to tell you now, we're not redshirting anyone. All hands are on deck. We'll need to set up our recruiting board and the same rules apply from year one. We can only recruit from a state that borders an ocean and we're limited to three stars or less until we get to a bowl game. In the early phases of a school like this, we take a flyer on anyone. Fresh batch of 35. Let's sort it by our largest deficit because then we'll need to know if we need to allocate points to these guys in quick. Beautiful. Chris Thomas, 73 overall gem from South Carolina. Mark Coleman is exactly the type of guy we need to bring in. 76 overall, 92 speed safety. It's time to start year two, and let's start it with a bang. Moving up in the world, Salona Beach is coming in at 125 on the preseason poll. That is ahead of Navy. Still projected to come in dead last, though, in our division. Hold the line, first team preseason All-American Devontae Jean Lewis has been putting in work. He's ready for a big season in the Mountain West, and so is teammate LaRon Mallory. Our young tight end, Rock Boston, coming in second team all Mountain West. And Cam Brown in his senior season gets second team accolades. Before we kick off the season with some gameplay, Philip Rivers identified some studs to add to the roster if we can just recruit him in. Jim Hicks, Justin Welsh, two Cali DBs with 90 plus speed would be great to bring these guys in. Vince Manning, Eric Mooney, William McConnell, just a few more names to keep an eye on. I really, really want to bring in Mark Coleman. Talk about a game changer on defense. Plus six overall from last season, the upward ascent begins now. Back in black for opening week, we mean business, and we're taking on FCS West in a rainy San Diego night. Let's give the fans what they've been waiting for, an opening season dub. Starting this one off on defense, let the new season commence. Drop your predictions down below in the chat before we get too far into it, but I'm thinking better things ahead. The heart and soul of this defense, Cam Brown at linebacker, leading a young group of new defensive linemen. Oh, he had him for a second, but let him slip away. And we still follow through with the sack. That time it's Aaron Spell, but the young freshman was in there early creating problems for the offensive line. I mean, heck, do you see Mark Hart's arms? This guy is a big dude for a freshman. Third and eight, let's get the defense off the field. Just make a nice play here. Great defense. And now we get a first look at the offense with Brandon Moore and Turner underway. I've been hearing y'all in the comment section saying to run the ball more. And trust me, I would love to, and I'm going to, just now that we have a faster running back. Dylan Wave was severely handicapped with what he had at running back last season. And uh, Brandon Moore, oh my goodness, put him on a spin cycle. Brandon Moore scrambling out for his first play, dropping back, puts that man on the spin cycle. Three runs and we're already down just outside of our red zone. Get rid of the ball. It must be my controller because I got dropped again and couldn't get rid of it. Second and long, let's drop back. And we get sacked again. The offensive line still a pain point. And all of a sudden, it's third and 34. We're going to go across the middle. Just deflected. That drive was spoiled by poor offensive line play. Third and seven. FCS looking like some option motion type play here. We come out and make a big stop. Finn. Good deflection. We're going to get the ball back. Yo, where's Brandon Moore? Did he already get hurt? Thankfully, we picked up Adam Allen out of the recruiting portal. So we have a comparable freshman backup as well. Breaking news, Moore bruised his sternum. So he will be out for the game. Freshman quarterback Adam Allen and Turner, the running back, will get most of the load. Third and short. We're going to dump it across the middle. 
and he read that really well. Fourth and four, big play coming up here. Adam Allen scrambling out. He does have a receiver, so he's going to dump it to him. And Bambry, what a catch to keep this drive alive. Clock winding down, end of the first. We're going to get a playoff to Rock Boston and get another first down. If Adam Allen can impress us, man, it's going to be a QB battle. No sure thing going forward. Second and 11. We're going to go out to Brent Martin. He's got some space. He throws one man down and keeps it pushing towards the end zone. Do a little receiver motion here. Read option, handing it off to Turner. He's going to go up the middle. What a carry for the freshman running back down to the inches line. I feel like I can almost get a tear to my eye just how effective the running game feels. And you guessed it, Donnie Turner for six. Third and five defense looking to make a play. That's a bad ball. We should have picked it, to be honest. The All-American preseason All-American should have came down with it. FCS West a little better prepared this time against the run. We're going to go a deep ball. That's a deflection pick to Harris. First down, they are in the red zone. We're going to have to D up. Third and eight, I can imagine. Yep, the pass is coming. I got this all covered up. Who's he going to go to? He's going deep outside. How does he even come down with that? What type of defense was that? 31 seconds left. We have to get something going here if we want to score any points whatsoever. So I'm going to scramble it with Adam Allen. He's going to get down the sideline. Oh, yeah, we had a man. We still, do we have him? Wow, we had him just sitting there waiting for us. Bembry with a massive haul. It was just a busted play and Bembry broke free. And uh, wow, the pressure is coming in really hot. Still getting it off to King. Let's call a timeout. Here we go. All hands on deck. We want a score and we're gonna have to work for it. Three points is better than nothing. Let's let Kai do his thing and cash in so we can take the lead going into half. Get the ball to kick off second half. Sponges are refreshed ready to soak up the opportunity and Broxton is a madman sprinting down the sideline just had one man to get past he got us into a great position third down running some slants we got a man McLeod with a spin and first a lot of open field up the middle let's see if Turner can take advantage of that now I'm really scared about this play action because the offensive line is doing a horrible job holding up most of the time so it was a risk the risk paid off Timmons got the first down 21 can you do something for me all the way to the end zone for me, baby. Mr. Donnie Turner has arrived. He scored two touchdowns. The freshman is ready. Salona so Beach Sponge fans are getting rowdy in the stands as their team on opening week look like they could win this one. Fourth quarter time to ice this one out in Turner. Trying to find the outside. Gets a nice gain. Third and two. Going to run a little halfback angle. I think Turner, oh man, just needs some grip boost. So maybe that's my only knack on his game so far. We're going to go for it on fourth down because we're aggressive like that. Kozart gets to keep it, gets to bust through, throw a stiff arm, and keep it churning for 20. Can't just talk about Turner because Kozart's going to be a big piece of this offense as well. The redshirt freshman going to be a one-two punch. Those two are like two peas in a pod, man. As we're going to go across the middle, Brent secures it just outside the end zone. Third and goal within the five. We're going to keep it with Adam's legs, pushing it in. The new look squad without our star freshman quarterback, the backup, getting it done. And thanks to some key defensive stops. This is the first time I'm able to say this. We can really just ice this one out. Oh my goodness, Kozart. This is a warning for every team going up against the sponges this year. Watch out for our RBs, man. They are hungry. Where were you in this historic moment of time? Salona Beach, year two, week one, gets the dub. Donnie Turner, player of the game. We are one step closer for a dynasty. Maybe it's just a matter of time until these stands are packed with fans that don't just want to come for the free sponges. This is not a drill. The Salona Beach sponges are 1-0. Some early recruiting wins with Welsh, Manning, and Avery, then losing on a pair of Derricks. Week two, it's Texas Tech week, and this will tell an awful lot about our season to come. Brooks at running back will give our defense fits, but it don't matter. Our defense ready to soak it up at Absorbent Field. Red Raiders come in to San Diego. They're going to have they're fun with the sponges. Just a light 23 overall difference. No big deal. Thank goodness Brandon Moore is okay. Just dealing with a bruised sternum. He's back at the lineup for this one. This is Texas Tech's first game, so we got a little advantage on him by having some in-game experience already. Third and four. Let's see what Brandon Moore can cook up. Little curl flats there. No one near. Opening drive for the Red Raiders. They're going to go up the middle. Brooks is just going to have a field day. Not really sure what we can do to neutralize such a powerful running back in the backfield. I mean, he's just going to bounce off tackles. He's going to do everything it takes, but defense 
This is what we need to see. When they go back to pass, we don't let them have it. Willie, the big freshman defensive end we got out of the recruiting portal last season is making his mark early. Maybe we can get the stop here and get off the field and dropped again. No, he got out of it and he's still gonna launch one up. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Guess I'm dealing with Superman back here at quarterback. That is not cool. Willis all over us. Just a load of barnacles out here. Not sponges, barnacles. Taj Brooks just vicious stiff arm. Second and goal, just gotta send the house up the middle and he's passing surprisingly. I'm calling it again. I'm just sending the house up the middle. Option play. What a stand. Yes, sir. Brooks, sit down. Taj Brooks got dropped off by Gene Lewis. We love to see it. And the defense stands at the goal line, only giving up three. Third and five, down up slants, just going across the middle. McLeod hauls it in. Fresh set of downs picked up. Brent on the outside, brings that one in and gets another first down. Play action, Rock Boston looking towards your way. Didn't get open there. No one's really open. So Moore's just going to scramble. He's got some wheels. My goodness, they're bringing the goal line defense, it looks like, on this power O. Thankfully, Turner gets to spring to the outside and pick it up. Third and eight. What's it going to be? Is this curl going to get open? Bembry still hauls it in somehow. Phillip Rivers and the coaching staff clearly not comfortable with our kicker in this situation. So let's just hand it off. Get through. Turner, we love it. All right, Moore, dropping back to pass. Let's see what you got. Over the middle. Yes, sir. McCorter. First and goal at the five. We're going to make it seem like we're handing it off. Get them all to buy in. Rock Boston was open. The concept worked. The execution just did not go well. Third and goal. Let's scramble out. Play a little backyard football here. I'm going to dump it. Oh, I had a chance. Not going to get too greedy. Let's just take three and tie it up. Extremely important stop needs to happen right here third and 11 they're going for the slip screen i read that cam brown and co swarm over brooks so far good job at clock control and good job on defense being much more patient in this one not just taking anything but waiting for the right opportunities the drive sputters out we're gonna have to punt the ball back with just a minute to go let's hope we can stop them and not have them score before half bringing the blitz we drop him let's get it shane dorsey steps up for that one looks like that sack means Texas Tech is complacent at taking this to halftime. After half here, Red Raiders driving down the field into the red zone. Just going to launch that one out of bounds. Third and 14, empty set here. Just going to give a little bit of cushion for our guys. He's got a wide open man there, but the defense lunges out for that one a flag on the play that might be some entanglement there yep pass interference is it offense though it's on the offense we're gonna decline could it accepted it and push the ball back but i just didn't want a chance a touchdown i'd rather settle for three run a little play action on the wheel here pressure is immense man third and 22 they're bringing more pressure again thankfully i get that out before the safety comes down first and goal raiders drove down pretty easily willis tops it off still very much hanging around in this one wasn't expecting to win big Big fan of the read option when I got Moore and Turner who both can pick up some good yards. And well, we need good yards here. Fourth and three. Gonna keep it with Moore. Up the middle, he's got it. If it ain't broke, let's not fix it. Doing the same thing, just a different formation. Moore keeps it with his legs. Second and six. Like to see someone get open here. We do have Brent on the outside making a nice snag. First and 10. Outside receiver is going to have a chance here. It's Bembry. He breaks free at the 14 yard line running a read option. Moore's got space up the middle. Gets behind the big man. Third and goal. I'm going to audible. I think we should run this one. It doesn't look like too much pressure up the middle. Hand off to Cozart. What a play call. Touchdown. Third and 18. The Red Raiders are reeling on offense. If we can just get a stop here, we will get the ball back and have a chance to take the lead the punt sets up great position at midfield and now we just got to put in some work second and two clock winding down turner cuts it up and in first down i think this is two down territory if we don't pick it up here and we had him oh my gosh brandon moore still struggling just a bit in the accuracy department as we're gonna hand it off to turner what a bounce and cut up the middle second and ten gonna drop it underneath I am a fool, and I don't know why I got away from the formula that was working. Just pure stupidity on my last play call there. And thankfully, though, we're going to get one more chance. Phillip Rivers calls the final timeout, so we're out of those. We got 50 seconds to drive down this field and at least get into field goal position, if not better. Oh, yeah, we got an open receiver. That's going to kick off the fourth quarter final drive with style. Hurrying up to the line and audibling the right play. We're just going to look for someone to get open, scrambling out. No one's open. I'm just going to keep it with more. He fumbles it, and that's going to be ball game. Man, this was a heartbreaker. We had a chance to beat Texas Tech. Bummer. Heartbreaking loss 
in Salona Beach. Texas Tech beats us 13 to 10. Despite my costly errors here at the end, I'm pleasantly surprised with how the team stuck with it. That didn't feel good, but you know what will feel good? Winning the Battle of the Beaches. This time we are in San Diego. Last season, it was out in Carolina. This rivalry just means so much more. We have to make some plays. We have to come out guns a -blazing. They embarrassed us on the teal field last season, and there's no chance we let them embarrass us again on our own turf. Not gonna happen. Third and four, just need to make a stop. Nowhere really to go for the quarterback. We drop him for a TFL. Let's go. Really looking for an efficient game here on offense. Just need our team to get it to gear. In Boston, Rock with a nice catch, getting up almost to midfield. Phil Rivers wants to establish the pass nice and early. There's Brent, so we can be even more effective with the run. Second and 10, they just keep bringing the blitz, and I had a man. They absolutely love blitzing right now. It's crazy. And what just happened there on the miscommunication? Rock was open, Moore couldn't find him. Hold up, I'm calling timeout. Who do you think we are? It may be fourth and 10, but look at where we're at with the ball. It's like the 38. What's the point in punting? Might as well try to get the first down, am I right? And that pressure again, it, okay, maybe I should have punted. Offensive line has to be addressed right away in our recruiting portal. Down by a touchdown, Rock Boston. <sighs> It was a good read by the DB, I'll give him that, but man, look at the score now. I don't know if this is the right call, probably not, but I'm just gonna run a read option. <laughs> yeah, I'm throwing up the white flag early, huh? You guys didn't catch the memo? I was supposed to go down 21 zip before I can play. Third and 10, just gonna dump one out here to our receiver, Bembry. Holds on and gets the first down. Here we go, another fresh set of downs. Moore's got a lot of green grass ahead of him. We're gonna step outside. Definitely feels more agile than Wave, but he's got some work to do on the accuracy side of things. Let's run the triple option. Maybe this will get us that first down we need. And yeah, Moore's gonna keep it. Lovely. All right, Brandon, let's get it, man. Let's keep it. Speed option, flicking it out to Turner. Honestly, I should have kept it. Bummer for sure. I got scared by that bump that I didn't think I was gonna make it. Run game all not that efficient in this one so far. We're just gonna take three points, at least get on the board or not but seriously no need to waste any more time on this one we got our butt handed to us as the backups are just getting reps has it really even been a rivalry yet we haven't scored any points against coastal just got done booking travel for a few of our main guys like vince avery william jim and you already know mark coleman in a battle for the 76 overall safety if philip rivers can wine and dine him early he might just be ours but now we get to move into mountain west conference play rams up first both squads struggling one in two starts for the rams and the sponges let's get our second win going to take more of a run first approach in this game the read option works wonderfully just because it's run first doesn't mean we're not going to pass because yes we're going to pass i see you rock way to haul that one in third and long are we going to have even a chance to get this one off i think we do on the run brandon more to bembry turn off a little counter play turner outside he's got some space kicking it out some more mean stiff arm get off me moving the ball right down the field we're going to keep it pushing bembry just runs over a man for a insane touchdown Bembry needs to be fed the ball some more Brandon Moore with his first collegiate touchdown pass to Bembry he just destroyed that defender that opening score on offense was infectious now the defense is now called to play to a higher level making a play and getting the stop clock winding down the end of the first quarter is here Turner's gonna get us a few Kozar our backup running back is in maybe there was a little injury let's hope not more just short oh no normally I'd punt this but we're just so close that I really feel like the ground and pound attack here will get us that yard Kozar muscles through two people what did I say second and ten getting a guy in motion here running a little bit of an option play I don't see anyone getting open and I couldn't even throw that away minus 17 sack what are we doing I swear I am hitting the button I just don't understand Rock Boston over the middle, get us it all back. Hold on, man, please hold on to the ball. Defense looking to bail us out once more. These guys have come to play. Sponge up, soak them up, baby. Now is not the time to stutter on offense. We have all the reason in the world to run up the score. Gonna run a read option with more. That's gonna work. They bite in more, has just got open grass. Definitely skeptical of play actions, but we're gonna try again here. Rock Boston, you got some room. Make a play, break free, keep it going. Huge, huge, huge play. Boston making up for his drop earlier. First and 10, I'm gonna send 
My guy's out, dropping it off to Bembry. Third and three, gonna jump it down to Brent. He's got it. Crucial first down conversion there, and Kozar is just gonna do the rest. Spectating this play, let's see if the defense can step up. That's very nice, dropping him for a sack. I didn't mean to accidentally hit watch play, but another sack, I can't complain what's happening. Finn with his third sack on the day, that's a machine. Like I said, I can't complain, but now we're back into the action, and uh, we're gonna hold him for a fourth down. Lining up for the field goal with just two seconds left. It's a pretty big one, and it's no good. Impressive halftime from Phillip Rivers' squad, holding the Rams to zero points and scoring 14 of our own. Second half starting here, opening drive. Cam Brown, no, we had him, and we just let the quarterback get a massive run all the way down the sideline. Well, we could have stopped them back then, but now they have a first and goal. Second and goal, they're gonna hand it off on the draw. We're there. Here we go, third and goal, this is big. He's gonna scramble out. We couldn't stop him and he keeps it. Touchdown Rams. Watching the extra point, that's our gain here as we get a chance to keep going up. I'm gonna keep it more making it happen. In a game like this where the Rams are finally starting to catch their footing, we have to just rub it in. And to do that, it's all about points, points, and more points. Boston, way to go. A very pass-happy drive, and we're gonna go to Boston across the middle. He secures it. Sprint, big fella. He's got six. Monster touchdown gives us a little bit of cushion here. We just need to make the stop. Cam Brown delivers the stick. The senior linebacker gets up, talks his talk, man. Fourth and one, looking for a quick one here. Quarterback's gonna scramble, keep it, and they have new life. Another third and really short. We're just gonna send the house on a blitz. He's gonna keep it again. This time, he can't escape. Fourth and five, this is incredible. We have them going for it. We have to make this stand in this game. It's just about stamp. One positive to this is that at least the clock's getting churned up as they're moving down the field. The team's going for two. If they can't convert, it is going to be a nine point difference, which is two possessions. So this is a massive two point play. We're, we're boxing that up. No, they don't get it. That is gonna go a long way. Just got to play it smart, chew up some clock, get some more first downs or heck go for a big play third and two we're gonna run the hb toss got some room i'm going for it for two reasons if we don't get it well they're pinned all the way back here at like the seven and if we do get it we just up our possessions to three so let's send it up the middle I'm gonna dump this one off to kozart he fights for the first down and that nifty play is what broke the camel's back touchdown more sponges we're up big. We're not coming anymore, we here. And that's right, two can play at the two point game. This time we're gonna get ours. <laughs> okay, what an all around game today. Offense, defense, it was clicking everywhere you looked. Big sack for emphasis. Our defense is wreaking havoc. Man, I am proud of these guys. I know Phillip Rivers has got to feel good after going winless in his first year. Already got us up to two wins. We're gonna keep it cordial. We know we could stat pad. Let's just kneel this one out. This was a turning point for the sponges, man. Brandon Moore, very efficient on all sides of the game. Got it done today as we take care of business. Sweet, sweet victory brings its rewards. We can upgrade Phillip Rivers. Let's give him kitchen sink. Offensive coordinator's gotta pick it up, man. Little update for the Sponge fans. We're definitely winning some recruiting battles out here. Week six, rivalry game with San Jose State. This is a big one because we have a lot of recruits visiting. Ah, back to the beautiful city of San Diego and Salona Beach. Let's go catch a wave and get this dub. It sure is good to see Turner back and that's gotta hurt. Quickly, already third and 11 forced to fight for something here and we're dropped offense off to a shaky start well san jose botched it in return so we get the ball back and what are we doing brandon third and eight curl flat anyone open yes sir Bembry. second and seven read option brandon moore is going to keep it and get through three guys and spin out of that that has got to be oh my gosh if he scored that would have been the craziest touchdown i've ever had third and two running a speed option just going to keep it ourselves brandon moore says get in there third and six cam brown i'm looking at you make a play senior or not, Gene. We'll let San Jose have their three because we got a lot more in mind. The blitz is picked up. Third and five, running the quick slants. It's Brent again, hauling that one in. Did he have enough reach? Trust me, Phillip Rivers is a threat to go for it on fourth down anywhere on the field. Oh my gosh, Turner, what an insane conversion. Brandon Moore is Houdini-esque in this game. Oh my goodness. Pretty successful clip on fourth down conversions lately, but the run game isn't working too well for us at this moment. First and 10. I see Brent getting open. He was so open down the sideline. Why couldn't I just have a second more? I doubt they let me get that type of grass again, but I'm hurrying up to the line just to see if it's even possible. 
Please give me protection. Nope, he's covering him down this time. And Moore's got a step. Thank goodness, out of the reach there. Tumbling forward. You got it, coach. Phillip wants to keep going for it all. And he says ver four verticals. Rock Boston down right to the red zone. We go. Read option. Brandon Moore's keeping it. He's running through people. But now I can't help but notice our troop bruised his ribs on that last play and is going to be out for one whole quarter. Enter Adam Allen, the backup freshman quarterback, getting some snaps here. Going across to Brent. Couldn't get the separation for the touchdown. You know, I believe Adam can also run a nice read option on fourth and goal. I think we want to go for it. Bruh. The good news is that they're pinned up here way back. And the bad news is that Bates is going to just break all these tackles and get in a massive gain. What the heck? All right, it's official. I regret going for it is uh, they got down here and scored a touchdown within seconds. Second and 10, not too much time left. Going across to King. He's got it and he's past his defender. And he's got so much green grass ahead of him. What's he going to do? Break through. Six seconds left. I believe I have a play if I can get it off pretty quick. And I'm going to go Rock Boston and he was open. It really hasn't been a sure thing with Kai, but that one's right down the middle. All tied up at half. Third and four, Spartan got a man in motion dropping back to pass and they found him Olsen just breaks through all the all the noise that's a backbreaker red zone defense needs to step it up wide open Nash almost scores that was really easy after half we got more back so that's always a good sign and we're gonna dump this one out to Brent who almost broke free man oh man how do we get here back against the wall once more we're gonna have to scramble out I do see a lot of open field we could probably get this first down on our own yes sir third and ten just gonna dial up some slants we're gonna scramble I think Bembry's gonna get open and I threw that too early that's on me gosh dang it why is the running back so unstoppable come on third and eight Let's go for the curl flat. Got Brent. He's going to get around the defender. Oh, man. Second and 10. Over the middle. Rock Boston. Freeze. Open. Hurrying this one up because we have not much time left, but we still got some time to play with. More keeping it up the middle. Fall forward. Shoot. We're just inches short of the end zone. I think Brandon Moore on this QB sprint out can get us in there. Just sprinting out. Going to do it himself. No. Running that same play back. Let's sprint out. See if anyone's open. Maybe we need to dump it off. Boston in and out of the hands. Can anyone tell me why in the world that was so hard? Now we're just going to go up the middle. Easy handoff. Third and seven. We're out of timeouts because we used it all. Trying to make some plays. So you couldn't tackle him, man. That was the game in essence right there. Couldn't bring him down. Somehow, some way, they managed the clock poorly because they could have iced this game out. And they're going to take a field goal. This could be do it anyway. Yeah dagger san jose state gets the win in this rivalry game we are yet to beat our rivals in any game so far losing always hurts but let's see if the philip rivers effect was in full swing and we were able to convince any recruits to come to our school anyway we had so many recruits visit us i'm curious to see how many did we land we got a few good ones but unfortunately some of the bigger names I don't think we got many points. Two and three on the season. Let's get right against the Wolfpack. Traveling to Nevada, the sponges are on the road looking to get right. Start off the game with a read option. Going to hand it to Turner. See if he has enough burst to get us some yards. See if we can pick up the first down here with a QB sprint out. And I think it's going to work. Mohor right through the shaft. Play action. Rock Boston. Nah, something could have been open. Well, that's a sight we don't like to see. Adam Allen, our backup, is already in. So something must have just happened to our quarterback on that last sack. Third and 16. See if we can salvage anything here. Pressure's too much. Looking to stop the Wolfpack here. The option does work for them, but only a few. Wolfpack have a star quarterback, it looks like. So we got to keep our eyes on this guy. Another option play. I'm trying to in, take in between the middle there. It's like you just pick one or get burnt. Another option type motion play there. Hayes just gives the stiff arm and scores. Brandon Moore is out for the game with a concussion. So it's over to Adams we go. It just feels like to me that he is slightly injury prone. Gets hurt an awful amount. First in 10. Back out to our tight end. Rock comes down with it. This is definitely a real opportunity for Allen to prove he can hang and can make some plays happen just like this one. And you're looking for Rock, he'll get it done for you. Three early connections to Rock. Back onto the ground for Turner. Second and five. Let's see what we can find here. Rock did look open for a smidge. Underhand to Timmons. Fighting his way for a big first down. Second and 11. Brent over the middle might be the right play. We got him. And he is short again. First and goal. He has been getting us right down to that inches mark. Let's not be silly. Let's just hand this ball off and score. Big turn of events and great field position here. Going deep for Brent. He's got 
caught it. Touchdown. 25-yard dart from Adam to Brent. Defense doing their best not to just break right before the halftime here. That fourth down will help. The snap, the kick. It's down the middle, but not enough juice. And the sponges are up by a touchdown. Feeling dangerous. Second half action. Let's see if Allen can keep it alive for the sponges. Gonna go deep. He's got a man. Brent makes the catch. Second and five. Allen dropping back. Gonna scramble again. Looking for Rock. He's got him. Rock and Brent really stepping up for Allen as he's spelled in. But let's let Turner get in on the action. Man, oh man, we're so close. Let's just hand it off on the stretch to Turner. Walk in touchdown how you like them sponges and on the defensive side of things they are also doing their part to take care of business Brandon cannot get many passes off today forcing him to go for it here on fourth and three a big stop ices this one out already early cam brown man i just can't use her when the quarterback gets crazy this is it i'm selling out for the pass fourth and six sending my guys in He's got the easy touchdown. That's a bummer, but this drive is operation points. We just need anything from a field goal. We'll take six. All about scoring and dwindling this clock down as Rock Boston gives us the first down. Adam Allen really filled in nobly today. I am proud of his performance. Back up the middle. Cozart just breaks through a couple tackles. What a physical run. Man, I think going forward, we have a little bit of a QB battle on our hands because these guys are both pretty talented in their own regards. And really, it's big games like this where Adam steps up pinch hits and hits a home run. It's sure hard to bench a man that's doing everything we ask of them, except making that play. But that's okay, Adam did his job and literally it's up to Kai Smallwood and his small leg. Bang. That was a brilliant performance from our backup quarterback. The freshman gets it done. Donnie Turner, the freshman running back, also does his piece. Nevada Wolfpack are walking out of here defeated. Well, shoot, I knew Phil Rivers had something to prove, but hey, did you think we would come in here and be three and three in our first six games of year two? This is already above expectations, and it looks bright with these freshmen at the helm. Boom! The cherry on top. Chris Thomas, Nick Battle are committed and coming to Salona Beach. Well, 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 that's an encouraging way to end this episode. Three and three on the season. I'll see y'all in the next one where we finish up year two and usher in the new era to year three. If you're soaking up the content and enjoying this series, I got a lot of fire videos out there on my channel. Go check them out and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks.